I just got, I just got done doing a phone session, which you can sign up at beckmansdogtraining.com phone session with a lady. She's got four dogs. They are all fighting. Real fights. She's got two old English sheep dogs, a chow and a uh, St. Bernard. She's got maybe the most difficult, some of the most difficult breeds you can possibly have. And she's got them all together in a house. And one's attacking the other, the other's attacking the puppy. She rescued these dogs. And by the way, you guys don't comment or, or you know, say, oh, well, this lady shouldn't have ever got these dogs. It doesn't matter. She got them. Now it's my job or trainer's jobs to help her. Doesn't matter why she got them. Doesn't matter if it's the right reasons or the wrong reasons. She's got these dogs. She rescued them. She's got them. We got to deal with it. Doesn't matter. I see all this shaming of people, not on my channel, but on other channels, uh, social media, shaming of people who get the wrong dogs. They are fighting with each other, these, these dogs. So there's two main things. And we're going to see if anything happens between this group and then I'm going to deal with it in the same way I told her to deal with it. Okay. When you have the big, when you have issues that big, you need the broad strokes. I'm not going to sit there and go, okay, do this, 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 all these little tiny things. Okay. Use treats here. It's not going to fix it. The problem is too big. If you have two dogs that are fighting in a house, you can use this as well. The problem is too big. Jeez, Bodie. These two haven't really been together. Unneutered American Bulldog, unneutered Doberman, Ridgeback. I tried to get some of the three bigger, tougher Zeppelin. Bigger, tougher dogs together, kind of like she's got. So broad strokes, guys, for you guys with dogs that fight in the house. The broad strokes are she needs to get the dogs out more. There's two main things. One is she needs to get the dogs out more. Imagine if you and your mom and your two sisters lived together and you never left the house. You'd be at each other's throats too. You got to get them out of the house, out of the property. Oh, Joel, but I have a half acre yard. Actually, she does, but it's still not big enough. It doesn't matter how big the backyard is. It's still the backyard. You got to get them out in the world. Bodie, I'm going to deal with this in a minute. I just didn't want to interrupt my talk to deal with it. That's number one. Number two, and I told her this, and I'm not saying you person with a 10 year old lab has to do this, but this lady, me here with all these dogs, you have to run it militantly. This lady has to be in control of everything. She has to be displacing the dogs as much as she possibly can. You have to be displacing your aggressive dogs that don't listen to you. What does that mean? You walk into them, tell them go, go as much as you possibly can. Okay. Now we're going to get into what she needs to do right before the fight or when the dogs are being bad. Okay. Again, she's got to run this house way over the top. This fighting is not going to stop. This fighting is not going to stop with treats. It's not going to stop with love. It is going to stop by these dogs saying, I want to go at that dog, but I'm more worried about this lady. And what this lady says, she always follows up. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to sit over here. This is kind of what I told her and I'm going to be mean to these dogs, but I know these dogs very well and they're going to take one for the team for society. I'm going to punish them when they aren't doing anything. I'm going to correct them when they aren't doing anything. So she's sitting on her couch, relaxing Two of the, they, these all dogs cannot be together, but two of them can and two of them can, but they still sometimes fight. So she's got to put them together. Then when she sees something she doesn't like, you have to make a loud clap and a hey as you're getting up. Now what you guys do is you guys sit there. Everyone does this. She did this because she says, I watch your videos and I do that. But I know she wasn't, she said she wasn't doing one aspect. She sits there and you sit there and the dogs start to maybe look at each other wrong or play too rough or whatever the trigger is. You guys go, Hey, and you stay sitting right here. That is not it. That is eventually it. That is not it for the first 25 times you do this. What you're going to do is you're going to go, Hey, as you're standing up and then you're walking into the dog or you're telling the dog bad. It is not a sit back and yell at your dog. It is always follow up. Then you fade out the get up and it just becomes, Hey, and they go, okay, sorry, because they're anticipating you getting up. So Misha, come on, get up and play. Bodie, come on, come on. All right. So 
these dogs are here. Let's say they fight. Oh, the trigger is, you saw this one playing with this one all rough. I'm gonna do it to Maisha because she's so darn confident. So you're sitting here, something happens. Hey! Bed. Bed. She doesn't go to her bed. We're gonna say bed. Come on. Sit. Dog doesn't wanna go to its bed. I don't really care what the dog wants. Stay. Watch me. Am I watching the dog? Has the dog been released? No, the dog was bad. She wasn't bad. <laughs> good girl. I can give a calm good girl in there, okay? I said stay. Okay, Misha. Okay, okay. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. So I, I know, oh, okay, a commenter is like, oh my God, you guys were mean to the dog. The dog's fine. The dog is fine. I've trained Misha for years. I've trained Misha for years. Um, you saw that deal. That's the deal. I didn't just say, hey, I got up. I, I shocked her out of it. She wouldn't do anything. Shocked her out of it. I said, bed. She said, no. I said, I don't care. She went on the bed. I said, stay. I watched her the whole time. If she would have gotten up, I would have said, uh-uh. And I would have put her right back. You're my good boy, Zeppelin. You're my good boy, Zeppelin. You're my good boy. She would have gotten up. There was a correction. There was a punishment in there when your dog is about to attack another dog. And then, as you saw in my video yesterday, they got a lot of views. After that chow went at Prince, I let him go five seconds later, okay? So then let the dog go and release and say, go be mean to that dog. Not to go attack the dog, but you guys see before the fight, you know the triggers. Go look at that dog wrong. I'll do this all day. Stand up, do it again. Go look at that dog. Okay, do it again. How are you gonna fix a behavior if you don't have repetitions of correcting the behavior? You need reps. That's why yesterday with that dog that a lot of you guys saw, that white chow, after 10 seconds, I told the owner, let, let him go again. He wants to go, go up Prince again? I'll do it again, and I'll do it again, and I'll do it again. I need, we need the numbers of corrections to go up. Just like if you're trying to sit, you want a lot of sits with a lot of treats. If they're mean mugging a dog, so, what, someone asked yesterday, what's mean mugging? I don't know, it's mean mugging. I don't know, it's staring at the, it's the same way a person would do it to another person. Stare in their eyes, too long of eye contact, staring right at them. It's a known threat in every animal species, okay? I mean, sometimes dogs will stalk, like my dog will stare at a dog and stalk and it's not mean, but for the most part, it's not a good thing, okay? So then she's gonna go back, you're gonna go back because your two dogs are fighting and you're gonna let them be together and you're gonna be militant, okay? And you are gonna constantly have them do what you ask them to do, and it doesn't matter. I don't care if you just sometimes wanna just go, Zeppelin, bed. Bed. Sit down. Down. Stay. See the, the attitude, there's an attitude here. Zeppelin did nothing wrong. These guys are taking one for the team. To the owners, thank you. Zeppelin, okay, okay, it's my good boy. Don't release him like that, by the way. That was because Zeppelin is not, doesn't fight dogs, okay? But just release them like, okay, and let them go again. And do this all day. Is this hardcore? Yes, this is hardcore. This lady has a chow, two, two English, old English sheepdogs, and a St. Bernard that are attacking each other. There is no answer but this answer. Let me repeat that. There's no fix but running your house where every dog does what you do when you ask it, and if they don't, you follow up and make them do what they do. There is no e-collar answer to this. There is no positive reinforcement answer to this. Positive reinforcement answer is gates everywhere. And that's what she's doing. And she didn't want to live like that. This is the answer. If I lived there and those were my dogs, it's still tough, but I could do it because of this, probably. Those breeds are tough. That is almost the most difficult combination of breeds I've ever heard of. The sheep dogs, dude, those things, the, the St. Bernard, St. Bernard's get something in their head and they're like, I'm doing it. Okay, it's kind of like newfies. 
then you add a chow in there. Okay, this is not even close. This dog, the American Bulldog, is the most difficult breed of these two breeds, by far. Okay? So, you got to run your house where the dogs always listen to you. Does that mean we don't have fun? Does that, no, when they're good, you have fun and you go on walks and you do everything. But you need to establish that you are running the house. You are up here. It doesn't matter who's number two and number three. You are number one. This is not for the normal person with the nice dog or the nice two dogs or the nice three dogs. I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking to the dogs that are trying to kill each other in your living room. The positive reinforcement trainer ain't gonna help you. Save your money. The e-collar person ain't gonna help you. Save your money. This is about the only answer. Structure, hierarchy. This is the answer. I don't care what you call it. People get all worked up when you say the D word. They get all crazy. I don't care what you call it. You're up here, they're down here. Call it whatever you want, doesn't matter. Be the boss of the house, but I'm specifically telling you what to do. Mark the behavior, get up, move them, make them do something. She did the sit and down. He did the sit and down. I know, I know you're a good boy. I know you're a good boy. Make follow up every time with the dogs. When I'm in the house, my dog is great, obviously, you know Prince, but there are times I have the three kids and the dog's cruising around and I'm just like, bed and he goes from everywhere that's a smart dog dude down okay I trained him I mean I've trained him before but I said bed from he from there after I did my one bed a, a, a while ago that guy just went to his bed after first time not even almost seemingly knowing what the bed behavior is when because it's in the corner it's never here Zeppelin you're the smartest dog I've ever seen Dobermans are smart dogs okay that was pretty cool all right, run your house. Your dogs are fighting. You are over it. You're gonna catch them early. You're gonna correct the behavior. You're gonna follow through. Do a longer stay than I even did with either of them. You're not happy with them. You hope they get up. You hope they break that bed stay so that you can go, uh-uh, and you can move into them and you can make them go back to their bed. You want them to break that bed stay. It's another opportunity to let them know what's up. Oh, Joel, you're so mean to, you're, you're, you're being so mean. The dog's attacking the other dog. How are you being the mean one? How am I being the mean one? It is trying to hurt and cost you money to take them to the vet. This lady broke her arm trying to break up a dog fight. We need to change things. Society needs to change things. That's the deal. Zeppelin, you're free, buddy. That's the deal. Subscribe, comment, all that good stuff.